All right, guys, so in today's video, we have a 2019 Asai with about 50K on it or so. And I'm just gonna show you some major red flags when uh, buying these cars. So this car came in uh, from a used car lot. Uh, they obviously sold this, they uh, pieced it together, it looks like. Um, and it came in for a third gear grind, so I drove it, duplicated it, it's definitely there for sure. I'm not surprised with that. What I was surprised with was all the other things I found wrong with the car. You can see the charge pipe right over here. There was no clamp on it. I ever moved it, but the hose was right up to that point. You could see uh, the dust where the hose was and wasn't, but regardless, there is no clamp. So anytime you try to full throttle or even partial throttle it, uh, there's a major boost leak. Some other red flags, you can see these brackets are missing, not in place. The turbo shield is gone, indicating potentially that uh, this car was modified at one point, which I'm pretty sure of it, it was. Um, you got these bolts, the wrong bolts right over here. This is a lot of stuff that maybe somebody without a trained eye won't really pick up. And a big reason why you should definitely get the car looked at when buying it used. There's a big bracket here that is missing. So obviously a lot of stuff rerouted. This is just really, really a poor job to make a quick buck on uh, the car. And if you notice this right over here, the SI usually doesn't have this foot of grommet over here. It's broken, but that tells me that this engine uh, most likely came from a CRV, which it does have a resonator right in here. And a quick code uh, on the engine uh, confirms that this is an L15BE, not an L15B7 uh, that the car should be coming with, which uh, seems like the internals are relatively the same. But the point here is that the car has been modified and I'm pretty sure whoever bought this car was not um, obviously made aware of that. And these used car places are, it could even be, you know, a personal seller, individual seller. Um, obviously, if they're trying to hide something, they won't uh, tell you exactly what happened to the car. Or maybe they took it to a shop, they did, hey man, the car uh, had an engine issue and we had it replaced, uh, and they replaced it with a different engine, uh, which is the case here. It doesn't seem to be a big deal, but it could be. Um, a bigger deal if they use the completely wrong engine or so that fits but might not work completely another thing is you can see the shock tower had uh, some sort of a strut bar they left it on here this is just pure laziness this side doesn't have anything the car is lowered missing fender liners which is all simple uh, stuff uh, but the big issue here is the third gear grind which you would notice on a test drive but you would not know that this car has a different engine and you might not know that all this stuff is missing you know if it's in place it doesn't really look too bad you know but obviously once you purchase the car you drive out of there uh, whatever your deal was or your commitment was with that place might not honor any repairs so I just wanted to let you guys know if you're purchasing um, you know something uh, that is easily modified or has a tendency to be modified like an SI or an Accord Sport Accord 2.0 T something like that or a Type R even, just take somebody with you that knows what they're looking at because there's gonna be some telltale signs that tell you if the car was modified or not, or maybe it was modified to the point where it shouldn't be or done very poorly, or maybe it was modified, but as everything was correct and you're okay with that. But the point is that these people are being honest with you and not trying to close the blinds on you and just tricking you into buying something and you paying top dollar for it. So with that being said, guys, let me know if anyone has a witness or gone scammed in some sort of way, like this person, this individual, most likely will, unfortunately, with this car. Uh, please uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one.